Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be doing my recent luxury purchases update. I have not done one of these videos in the longest time. I looked back at my channel and the last time I did a recent purchases update was like over a year ago. So I do have quite a few items to get through. Luckily, most of these items fall into the category of hits, which means that I've really been enjoying using these items, but I do have a few maybes and a couple of fails as well. I do find these videos quite helpful so I try to do these a lot more often but I just haven't had the chance to compile everything together so grab some tea or coffee or wine whatever it is your choice of drink because I have a feeling this may be a long video. So let's get started with all the hits. The first hit item I wanted to talk about is this Dior Montaigne pouch. I unboxed this a little over a year ago, again, because I haven't done one of these update videos for so long. And I talked about what great value item this is from Dior. And my opinion hasn't changed. I've actually used this a ton when we went on our European holiday last year, our honeymoon. I used this so much, especially in Santorini, because the colors just worked really well. At the time I purchased this, this Montaigne pouch retailed for $1,300. 150 Australian dollars which I thought was a steal considering it does have beautiful Dior quality and craftsmanship and it is pretty easy to convert this one into a bag. The reason why the price was so great is because it is still classified as small leather goods so it is meant to be a travel pouch but it does have a little clip here. So you can actually attach a chain to the clip there and feed it through under there and wear it as a chain bag. And that is why this bag is so easy to convert into a bag, even without a conversion kit that you purchase with a bag organizer or anything. And when you do that, it doesn't actually look like you've converted a pouch into a bag, but it actually looks like a proper handbag because of all the leather piping detail, the CD plaque detail and the beautiful beautiful oblique jacquard that is quintessentially Dior. Not to mention the quality is just always so beautiful on Dior pieces. Now this one just had a price increase with that last Dior price increase about a month or two ago. So it went up by 300 Australian dollars to 1,650 I believe. So it did see a hefty price increase but I think the price point is still okay if you intend to use this as a handbag like I did. And the capacity is amazing. You can fit so much in it. It just looks so stylish in my opinion. And yeah, I just have been loving this. Staying with theme of Dior, the next item that made it onto my hits list is this cute little Lady D Joy bag in the micro size. I love it it is so so cute even though it looks like a bit of a useless bag because of its tiny tiny little size it actually fits enough for me so it does actually fit my iPhone Pro 12, which most micro bags won't fit a phone. So that's a massive plus for me. And it can also fit a card holder, a little lipstick and my keys without any keychains or anything. So for a micro bag, I've really, really been appreciating its surprising capacity. I love the color. I love all of the classic Dior features such as the Dior charms, the canage quilting and the beautiful lambskin. It's quite versatile with a shorter strap and a shorter chain as well so you get three ways of wearing it top handle longer shoulder leather strap as well as a shorter chain and I've actually done a whole video on my first impressions of this bag after using it for a few weeks so I'm gonna leave that video in the description section below if you want to know a little more about how I've been getting on with this DJ bag in the micro size but my opinion hasn't changed since I've done that video and I've absolutely been enjoying this bag as well next bag on the list is none other than my newest Saint Laurent bag. It is the small envelope wallet on chain style in the so black combination. So the black grained leather with all black hardware. I just love this combination. It looks so chic. For the longest time, I wanted a bag in this combination. And finally, I've got something in the so black. When I unboxed this bag, I talked about my intention of using this as a very easy going and durable, versatile crossbody bag. When I have my baby, when I take out the pram, I just want something to keep my personal belongings in 
they can stay really close to the body. By the time you watch this video, I would have had the baby because at the moment I'm filming a few videos to put out while I cannot film just after giving birth. But right now, at the time of filming, I am like a week away from giving birth. And guess what, guys? I've actually already started using this so much, even though my intention was to use it after the baby came. I've just been enjoying how easy it is to just throw on and go. It's so easy to match with everything that I've been wearing because it is just a black bag. The hardware doesn't clash with it, silver or gold because it is in all black. So I've been taking this to all of my appointments, running errands, doing last minute shopping and all of that. And it's just been great. One big concern for these so black bags is the chipping of the black hardware because apparently with the black hardware, the black is actually painted on to a base metal. So I'll see how I go with the wear and tear. But so far, I am not seeing any of the black coming off. But again, I've only been using it for about a month or so. So I've been really enjoying this. It fits everything that I need for running errands, for going out for a quick dinner, that sort of thing. So I am really looking forward to using this more when my baby comes as well. Next bag that I've really been enjoying using is the Palais Numero Neuf bag in the mini size that my hubby got from Paris for me while he was there picking up my Hermes special order bag. This is my first Poland bag. I've really been wanting to try out a bag from Poland for the longest time but we unfortunately don't have a boutique here in Australia so I was really hesitant to buy one but when hubby was in Paris he was able to check them out in person and he really liked the quality of Poland so he ended up buying this while he was over there. So at the time of filming I've had this bag for about a month or so and I've actually been using it a few times especially on days that I don't want to carry a designer bag with big logos I just want to stay under the radar and understated and subtle like I said in the unboxing video I don't actually have a bag in this sort of a neutral color so I've got the black bags the beiges cool tone grays whites all of the other neutrals but for some reason I didn't have this sort of a taupey color neutral bag in my collection so I noticed that that was what was missing and this bag completely completely filled that gap. I realized why taupe color bags are so popular. This sort of a color actually goes with so many different colors. So even with my camel jumper today, doesn't it just look so beautiful? It's also all season. It's just that light enough, but dark enough, if you know what I mean. And I just think that the design is so adorable. Palen designs are all very unique and that's what I really like about them. Lately, I've also been really more into the more affordable contemporary luxury bags that are really well made that have a reasonable price point. So this one, I really can't fault the quality at all. Considering it's a lighter color, I have not had any color transfer and I have definitely used it with jeans and all of that. The only qualm that I have about this bag is the small opening. The bag has a pretty good capacity so you can fit quite a bit in here, but to get items in and out, sometimes you have to really rotate items in and out because of the small opening there and the handle sort of gets in the way as well. So you can't take items out straight up like that you kind of really have to maneuver items out I actually don't really mind that too much but if you're someone that is going to be bothered by that and be annoyed by that this bag might be really annoying for you but I'd like to stay on the positive side and that means that my items won't easily fall out of the bag accidentally so I've really been enjoying using this bag and the final bag on my hits list is of course my holy grail special order Birkin size 25 in the gold Togo leather with gold hardware. I don't think I need to explain any further. Those of you who have been watching my videos for a while know that this exact bag has been on my wish list for the longest time and this bag is super special because hubby and I ended up scoring a leather appointment in Paris while we were on our honeymoon and we were given the opportunity to design our own special order bag and then we found out that I was pregnant. Then we got the email from Paris saying that my special order bag is ready while I was heavily pregnant so hubby actually went to pick this up a couple of months ago and so one this has been my holy grail bag that I wanted for so long and two it's just got so much sentimental value attached to it which just makes the bag even more special it's our honeymoon bag our baby bag it just represents so much now to be really honest I've only used this bag a couple of times I guess a Birkin 25 is not something that in 
my lifestyle that I use every day. But to be fair, this bag arrived when I was something like 35 weeks pregnant. So I wasn't really going many places anyway. But I took it out for a couple of brunch dates with a couple of my girlfriends. First time I took it out was to meet my beautiful friend that I met through Instagram, Miss Rage. And she absolutely loved it. And the second time I took it out was when I was having lunch with a friend as well. And she's really into Hermes as well. So it was really nice to take her out. So I think I've said enough about this bag and let's move on to some non-bag items on my hits list. So I've been using my Louis Vuitton agenda in the GM size, the biggest size, every single day. I bought this at the end of last year. And to be honest, I was a little bit skeptical about this purchase because I previously had the Louis Vuitton agenda in the PM size, which is the smallest size. It was tiny and I never really reached for it. So I kept using my more affordable Kiki K planners. And towards the end of last year, I thought, you know, maybe if I have a larger agenda from Louis Vuitton, I will actually use it. And I was right and I'm so, so happy. So the cost per wear is basically so good already. It just gives me so much joy planning out my videos, planning out my schedule for the day and just writing down all my appointments and everything. How many luxury items can you say that you use every single day? This one I use every single day. And because I've had more time at home lately, it's just been great as a stay at home agenda. I think it's a little bit too big if you're someone who carries around your agenda with you but as a desk agenda that you use mainly at home if you're working from home if you're someone who'd mostly use the agenda at home I think this is a great size you can write so much in it it's not frustrating at all so I did share my agenda setup briefly in one of my previous vlogs but to show you guys oh the post-it notes have come off I just have some cards in there some receipts in here some stickers in there so I love having those pockets there and I bought these tabs with post-it notes on it from Daiso when I was in Korea and I love having these these are actually designed for the smaller size the personal size agendas which is the Louis Vuitton MM size but I couldn't find any of these tabs in this A5 size so I ended up just grabbing these and just fit them in here they still fit and I love how this one has a ruler and you guys already know that I actually splurged on the actual Louis Vuitton inserts and I'm so glad I did because I use it every single day it was a worthwhile purchase so I've actually mixed the Louis Vuitton inserts with some Kiki K inserts because the Louis Vuitton weekly inserts didn't come with the monthly planner so I've actually purchased the monthly inserts from Kiki K I've also purchased these tab dividers from Kiki K as well and then the weekly section is from the actual Louis Vuitton agenda which I love how it's got the times and I bought some extra notes inserts from Kiki K as well so it's a bit of a mix and match situation like I said but this sort of a layout works really well for me and at the back I don't have anything and I keep an erasable pen with me in this insert because I always make mistakes and I hate using whiteout so I always use erasable pen but yeah I've probably blabbed on too much about this but you could probably tell how much I love it next up is my Cartier Panthea watch in the mini size so I am wearing it today this was my birthday gift from hubby last year in December so I've had this for about seven or eight months now and I've been wearing this quite consistently it is a very dainty size so this Panthea watch comes in three different sizes this mini and there's a small and there's a medium my particular one is in the all steel I wanted something really casual that I can wear every single day Day, but it also comes in the two-tone so still with some gold links and I believe it also comes in full gold as well and obviously those ones will have a much higher price point the reason I wanted this watch in a really mini size is because I wanted it to act almost like a piece of jewelry like a bracelet because I'm not a huge watch wearer but I do love some jewelry on me so I thought it made more sense for me to get something dainty so that it can double as a bracelet you guys know that I do have a Rolex Datejust watch Watch as well but I don't tend to wear that one too much because I feel like it's a little too fleshy but with this one because it is so small and dainty I tend to feel really comfortable wearing it it's pretty subtle and understated and I know the watch lovers out there will hate me saying this but I like that this is a battery operated watch as well so it's a quartz watch which means even if I don't wear it for a few days the time is always correct so I don't have to worry about adjusting time every single time that I wear it like with my Rolex because it is a manually winding watch 
correct me if I'm wrong, if I don't wear the watch for a couple of hours, the power reserve runs out, the time stops, and then I have to readjust the time. And because I'm not someone who wears a watch every single day, that really frustrates me. I know that there are watch winders and all that, but I guess I'm just not a huge watch person at this stage. So yeah, this Cartier watch has just been perfect for my lifestyle currently. And next I want to talk about a couple of pairs of shoes that I've been absolutely loving. First pair is my Santorini sandals. Oh my goodness, these ankle straps are such game changers, especially if you're on a summer holiday. I know most people have the Oran sandals as I have three pairs of Oran sandals. I've got the tan, the black and the white and I really, really love them. And they're the easiest shoes to stroll around in, but they're really casual and some people find those shoes a little uncomfortable. I've heard some reviews where people just can't break into them. I'm not one of them. I do find them pretty comfortable. So maybe I've just broken into them quite well, but these Santorini sandals are just on another level. So one, the comfort is just so much better on these sandals. It might be because of the ankle strap. Maybe they secure your feet into the shoes a lot better, but also you don't have to worry about slipping or anything because of that security. The other thing that I love about these over the Orans is that just by having that extra strap, it does make the shoes look a lot more elegant and you're even able to dress these shoes up. Even though I love my Oran sandals, they are really, really casual shoes. And if I'm going Going from day to evening and I want a flat pair of sandals that will work into the evening, the Orans are definitely not it. They look so great during the day or with a casual outfit. Whereas with these Santorini sandals, they look just as appropriate for an evening outfit. So they are especially handy, like I said, for traveling because the one pair of shoes can do everything for you. I've worn this so much when I was in Europe last year at the tail end of summer. So yeah, definitely recommend these. The other pair of shoes that I've really been enjoying are also from Hermes and they are these Frenchy boots that I picked up from Paris last year in September. I've actually unboxed these shoes on my channel as well in my first Paris haul video. I do have a few pairs of boots from Hermes but I think these are my favorite. I absolutely love this Kelly buckle. I love this color. You guys know that I love the Hermes tan color. This is not the color gold but it is just called natural and I think it's because because the different leather type, but I also love the heel height. So these block heels are so comfortable and the height is perfect for an everyday wear. So I believe these are about five centimeters. So they do provide me with a little bit of a height boost whilst being really comfortable because they're not overly high. And the block heels are so stable. They are so easy to walk in and they just look so chic. They just make all my autumn and winter outfits look really elegant. Moving on to my maybes. These are the items that I really love, but I just haven't been reaching for. But for one reason or another, I know I'm gonna keep them and I'm gonna really try and work out ways to use them. So first is my new espadrilles that I picked up from Paris, the 31 Rue Cambon store. I don't know what it is, but with my previous pair of espadrilles, the all black tweed one, I wore that to death and I just needed to replace those because they really didn't have another day in them. They were so worn. I believe I had them for a good six or seven years and I wore them so consistently. I wore them even in the rain, traveling, all of that, that I just knew that I had to replace them and find a new pair that is going to replace that purpose in my shoe collection. So that's why I purchased these ones. And I especially loved how playful this one is because it actually says Coco Chanel 31 Rue Cambon. So I thought this is the perfect souvenir to bring home from the 31 Rue Cambon store. But as you can see guys, I have not even worn Worn them once and it has been almost a whole year since I bought them so I don't know what it is maybe because it is a little more playful even though it is in the monochrome colors just black and white maybe it's a little too casual compared to the all black one that I had before and at the moment my feet are really swollen from the pregnancy and because these are cotton on the outside they don't stretch a lot and I can't actually fit into them so I haven't really even tried to wear them in the last few months but I'm hoping when spring and summer comes around and I am no longer pregnant and I've recovered from giving birth maybe I will wear them a little more we'll see what happens this spring and summer next is another pair of shoes from Chanel and they are these 
I don't know the name of these sneakers, but you guys know these sneakers. They are everywhere on Instagram and all over social media. They've been popular for a few years now. I went out to the city one time with my bestie, I think at the end of last year, just before my birthday. And my bestie spotted these and she basically told me they never have sizes in these. So since they had my size, I should just grab them because I'll regret it if I don't. And they look so sleek. So I got talked into them and I bought them for myself for my birthday last year. And it seems like Chanel shoes are just not working out for me lately, but I promise you there are other Chanel shoes in my collection that I absolutely love and wear so, so much. But for some reason, these sneakers tick all of the boxes that I look for in a pair of sneakers, but I just haven't been reaching for them. I've actually worn them a few times casually, but they feel a little chunky, to be honest. They actually look really great and flaring on my legs when I wear them with a pair of leggings. But if I wear a skirt and I have bare legs, I feel like they don't make my legs look very nice when I have bare legs. I don't know, it might just be my legs, but yeah, I haven't really been wearing these. But I'm thinking now that I'm having my baby really soon and I'm gonna probably go out for lots of walks with the pram wearing probably leggings and gym gear because I need to shed a lot of pregnancy weight. I'm thinking when I go for my little walks out to the shops and that, maybe I will wear them because they are really, really cute. So yeah, hopefully I get to wear them a little more once I have my baby. Next on my maybe list is none other than my Lady Dior bag in the mini size in the water snake iridescent gray color. I again bought this in Europe last year. You guys know that a Lady Dior bag in the perfect color combination has been on my wish list for a long time. And when I found this in Monaco, in Monte Carlo, I absolutely fell in love with this color combination. And I just loved how it's a little bit different to your typical lambskin knaj quilted ones. And I just love this shimmer. I love the color, just everything about it. So I still do believe that if I'm going to have one Lady Dior in my collection, which I don't intend to buy any more Lady Dior's because I'm not sure if this style is really working out for me, to be honest, but solely on how beautiful it is, I know I'm going to keep this in my collection and it's just got so many great memories attached to it. And I can definitely see myself using this a lot more once I have more occasions to go out in the evening again. It's just currently I don't have many occasions to go out in the evening because I'm pregnant, but yeah. Yeah, I just have not been reaching for this. It is a somewhat of a precious bag for me. It is a very, very ladylike bag. So I feel like I need to be really dressed up to wear this. I did use this a couple of times at the beginning of the year wearing some more casual outfits because I guess it is a gray bag. So it still looks quite nice with jeans and all that. But yeah, in my mind, it's such a ladylike bag that I need to be properly dressed to carry this bag. But solely on usage, I've only used it a couple of times in the whole almost a year that I had it. So it just can't make it to my hits list, but it is still something that I really adore and cherish. Thankfully, I've only got a couple of items on my missus list. Both items are from Louis Vuitton. First item out of the two is this LV belt. I actually can't remember the actual name for this. This is the belt that I bought just before I went to Europe last year. I basically bought this because I love this color. So this beige color, I just thought was the perfect neutral color. And I did like that it is reversible, even though I didn't think that I'd ever wear it on the monogram side because it looks a little too logo heavy for my liking. And the little buckle, even though it says LV, I thought it's small and dainty enough that I really like the look of it. So I purchased it thinking I don't have a belt in this color and it is the most gorgeous, yummy buttercream beige color. So I even took it on my holiday day but guess what I never ever even wore this once so even the whole time that I was on my holiday I never reached for this and I realized that I'm not such a belt person I do like having a couple of belts in my collection but I just don't think I'm someone who wears belts enough that I need many, many multiples of belts in my collection. So I always reach for a couple of my other belts, but this belt, I just haven't been reaching for it. I still actually really like the look of it, but I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna wear this. So yeah, we'll see what happens, but it just had to make it to the missus list just because I've never even worn it once. 
and the next one I might be cheating a little bit because I've already returned the item and if you guys watch my videos regularly you may have already guessed that it is none other than the new Lisa wallet from Louis Vuitton. I did a video to show you guys that wallet just because there weren't many videos out there showing or reviewing that wallet and I actually go over the reasons why I ended up returning it but basically I bought that wallet on a bit of a whim and there were enough features of that wallet that I really liked that I thought would work out really well for my current life stage but when I brought it home and opened the box and had a look at it I just didn't love it and I felt like I was falling into the trap of just buying an SLG to give me a little bit of a pick-me-up because a dollar damage is much smaller than buying a new handbag so you know spending 770 Australian dollars that wallet cost and I was getting my little fix on buying something really new and fresh so I have to admit that I think I fell into that little trap with that wallet but when I brought it home I very quickly realized I didn't love it so it ended up going back to Louis Vuitton and I am so glad that I made that responsible decision but if you want a little more detail on what happened there and my detailed thought process I'll link to that video up here and in the description section as well so check it out if you're possibly considering that wallet so I think that I covered most of my recent purchases within the last year or so. If I've missed anything and you guys have been wanting to hear my thoughts on the purchases that you've seen that I've made, do let me know in the comments below. If there are enough items, I'll do another one of these videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today. And I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys.